They, they hired us um, some sort of standard stand-up units. They didn't really work very well. It's uncomfortable. It's unpleasant. It's not very good. Um, sometimes, like it's really nice outside, and the air conditioning out in the office is actually it's because of the air conditioning. It's really cool in the office, so it's, it can be extreme temperatures. Yeah, the glass that we've developed is um, a glass which has so-called intelligent properties. That is, it can vary its reflection properties and its transmission properties in respect to external temperature. So the idea being that on hot days, the glass becomes more reflective of the incoming light from the sun. Yeah, exactly. Cool. How many have we got left? Well, we've got six, none of them fit. <laughs> Vanadium dioxide has a very special property, and that is when it gets to a certain temperature, it will change its form. It will go from one structure to another structure, um, similar to uh, water freezing into ice. That undergoes what's called a phase change. This vanadium dioxide also undergoes a phase change. It goes from a material which is a, what's known as a semiconductor to being more metallic. And when it becomes metallic, it becomes more reflective for the infrared portion of the sun's energy. Well, the benefits would potentially be for the consumer, um, and they're multifold. Um, they can be used, for example, on office buildings which have large glass areas, and it will reduce the amount of air conditioning costs that are needed inside the building to keep the building cool. It might be possible to use it as a food marker. Um, certainly you could use it in transport applications, for example, buses, tubes and trains. It will be directly applicable to those. Definitely, yeah. I think um, new builds, especially around uh, inner city London and going out towards uh, to the Docklands, they're always looking at new innovative uh, buildings. A typical example of the Swiss Re building behind you. Um, so yeah, I think it definitely would catch on. So it'll be a cost-benefit analysis that companies would do on that. Um, how often their aircon fails and how often they get um, really uncomfortable conditions in the office. Yes, I th I th well, I think if, if, if one or two big buildings do it, then the people will see it works fine and then most of them will implement it.